Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to see something about geometry. You may wonder that uh, what's so special about geometry? We do it in the classes. Well, you might be, but uh, I'm going to give you some different vision about it. You think that the geometry is there in your notebooks or in your geometry box and making the theorems and something like that. But it's not like that. In the nature, the geometry is everywhere. Not all the trees grow the branches exactly in the same manner. Not all the trees grow the leaves exactly in the same manner. And the scientists have discovered that there is a certain geometry behind it, called as the geometry of fractals. Even when you pour something like a soil or anything on the ground, it makes a heap. Now at what angle that heap will be made is also governed by the geometry. So remember, the geometry is everywhere. And especially if you want to make some beautiful toys and you want to make some good projects, then you definitely should know the simple things about geometry. Because unless you make the drawing on the paper or the plastic, card sheet, metal, whatever it is, you won't be able to cut it. Until you cut it, the object will not be made. So the th simplest thing is that you should be able to make the drawing, then the cutting, then the structure and after that your project is going to come into existence. That means the geometry is the beginning of everything. So you cannot just skip it. Well, there is another way to do it. Don't go for the geometry and all that. Just buy the ready-made things in the market. But I don't think that you will ever like it because that will be only limited to whatever you buy. But here, sky is the limit. Because you can create the things on your own and for that you must know what the drawing is. Without the good drawing and without the skill of making use of the geometrical equipment, it will not be possible for you to make any good project. So believe me, your work begins with the simple things. You must have seen all these. Well, you know this is a plastic scale, this is a metal scale. And then after that, in your geometry box, you find something like this and you know all of these, I hope. These two are called as the set squares. This is called as a protractor. And then this is a, usually what you know as the small scale. We call it as the 6 inches scale. And this is the 12 inches scale. Okay. In addition to that, you will find that there are the two things. One, this is what is called as a divider. <laughs> Many people don't know what exactly it divides, but still everybody recognizes this as the divider and this is the compass. So this is all you find in your geometry box and in addition to that, what you need is known to you. You need a good quality pencil and to make that sharp, you need a sharpener and you also need the eraser. Perhaps in the initial stages, the greatest friend of you. My students in the initial phases erase the things so often that I many times feel that they should have, have one finger made of the eraser only. So they don't have to pick up the eraser and erase it. They can directly erase it. Okay, So eraser is required to you in the initial stages but you should reduce the use of this in the latter stages. Now about the pencil. You know that this is a sharp pencil and it has got a good point. And you can draw a very fine line using this pencil. But uh, how long this will remain fine? You will see that after about uh, drawing 4 or 5 lines, it doesn't remain sharp enough. And your lines go on becoming thicker and thicker. And that is dangerous for the geometry. You always must have the very thin and very fine lines. So obviously if you make use of this type of the pencil, then you have to keep on sharpening it often. Maybe every 4-5 minutes you may have to sharpen it while making the drawing. The another way is that, that this is called as a mechanical pencil or a clutch pencil. So you can see that the tip or the lid comes out as a thin wire and you can press it inside to keep as much as you need it. The advantage of this type of the pencil is that, that the thickness of the line will never change. Whatever you do, it will remain of the same thickness. However, it is a fragile one. With this pencil, 
even if you give a little bit of the pressure this will survive but this will not you increase the pressure in your drawing and the tip will break you again will have to get one more tip and one more and maybe if you do it frequently within a few minutes you will finish off all the lead and you will have to replace the lead and these leads are not very uh, let me say they are a bit expensive so that is why you have to have a good practice of using such mechanical pencils or the clutch pencils but believe me that this is the best way for the drawing okay now after that let us see about the scales you may wonder what is to be seen on the scale we know the scale we have been using it for so many things but uh, see this is a plastic scale on one side there is a inches marking on the another side there is a centimeter marking you know all that but have you ever noticed that your scale doesn't begin from the tip it begins a few millimeters inside so we'll notice that the zero is here and it finishes also a little bit inside on both the sides so if we call this as a 30 centimeter or 12 inch scale then the actual length of the scale is not 12 inches it is more than 12 inches why do you think that they have left some extra portion at the tips on on both the sides the reason is simple this is made up of plastic so the point here is not likely to remain sharp all the time it blunts it breaks and it becomes round and round so while taking the measurements later on you cannot take the accurate measurements with such a blunt point so that is why a little bit of the extra margin on both the sides of the markings is provided in the plastic scale but this is not the case with the steel scale if you see the steel scale intently then you will find that it begins right at the edge so this is the zero point there is nothing extra on this side the reason is that this is a very hard metal scale it's not likely to spoil its point so that is why the steel scales are used by the engineering college students by the people who want to do more accurately you will also notice that there are very fine graduation given on this scale and sometimes it is very difficult to see also because it glitters in the light okay so for the initial stages it is always better to make use of the plastic scale with proper understanding that is a very simple way and then for the smaller drawings you can make use of the small plastic scale that is a 6 inch scale so this is quite okay the other three parts are the protractor the protractor has got the marking of the angles and the angles are marked from 0 degrees up to 180 degrees in this direction as well as in this direction because you may have to measure the angle in a clockwise or in the anti-clockwise direction so it has got the marking on both the sides remember that these two are called as the set squares the set squares are the two triangles with the 90 degrees as one corner that 90 degrees is the most most important corner for us have you ever noticed that this is the only angle that is given a special name that name is the right angle so remember that the right angle is not given just because uh, somebody wanted to give it unless this particular angle in any drawing is really right that means perfect your drawing is not going to become successful so that is why it has got a special name right angle and these two are the right angle triangles you will see that here both the sides are same so that is why both the angles also are same this is called as a 90 45 45 type of the set square and here this length and this length are different so this is a 90 30 60 so this is 30 60 90 set square this is 45 45 90 set square so these two types of the set square are given because this 30 degree 60 degree and 45 degree are the three angles which are very frequently used in most of the drawings so in that case you don't need to measure them you have them directly available on your set square and as a result of that you can very quickly draw them so that is the advantage of that so this is all the material that you are going to have <coughs> when you start the drawing but there is one thing that you have to check when you buy the scale if you are going to buy the scale in the market 
then just don't pay the money and take anything that he gives because you are going to make use of this as a straight edge to draw the straight line isn't it but what if this line itself is curved that means if the scale is not correct then all your drawing will be further spoiled so you have to make sure that this is really perfectly a straight line and how you are going to do it when you go into the market and purchase it do you know any surface in our house which is absolutely flat and perfect there are two surfaces like that one is a mirror or any glass top and another is a marble that is laid down on your kitchen tops so these two are absolutely perfectly sharp so if you place the scale on them in this manner and see from the side you should not be able to see the light of the other side if you see the light on the other side that means the edge is not perfect so you have to check the scale when you buy it in the shop there are always the glass tops and glass counters so when you take the scale put it on the glass top see the edge you will immediately come to know whether it is really straight or not if you find that you see the light coming from the other side under the scale edge that means it is not the correct scale don't buy it so buy all the things of the good quality i will say the same thing about the set square and divider also they have to be of the good quality don't compromise when you buy the tools because if the tools are not perfect then your job is spoiled and once the job is spoiled your labor your efforts your material everything is spoiled so that is why you must always have the good type of the tools now this is the type of the compass that you must use have you noticed one thing that when i put the pencil the tip the steel tip that is and the pencil tip both of them are coming together into a sharp point this is the way the compass is required any other compass which gives you the pencil set parallel is not the correct type of the compass this is the correct type of the compass so you must always have this type of the compass so that you can draw a very small circle also in perfect in a perfect manner another thing is there when you are going to make use of this compass don't use the big pencil like this it is a big error because when you rotate this this large pencil will obstruct against your hand and you won't be able to draw the circles properly you always have to put a very small pencil on the compass so this is the correct size of the pencil and that is why when you consume the pencil and it goes on becoming smaller and smaller don't throw them away you are going to need it for the compass so you will be having it in this manner similarly the divider also you have to check that both the tips are at the same level sometimes they are up and down so don't buy such type of the divider they have to be at the perfect level so once you have all such tools properly ready with you then your geometry is going to be wonderful and you are going to enjoy the geometry okay so this is all about the tools that you must have to do the good drawings and draw the good geometrical drawings designs shapes projects diagrams whatever it is welcome